Hello there, my name is Harriet and this is my little brother Monty the Mad Scientist and this is my big sister Harriet. Thank you very much Monty. Um, today we're going to be learning about the state of matter. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you are solids as Monty is very kindly holding up the sign for me. Um, solids Normally they're atoms, they're normally very close together and they have a definite shape and size. Um, Monty, can you please show all of the children the examples? Yeah? So, for example, a spoon. All of the atoms over here are joined up together so they can create a big spoon out of atoms. Can you show me the examples? And then there are a scissors. Scissors. They are the same as the spoon, but they just are in a different kind of shape. And the apple. And so, the apple. Okay. This now, is a different shape like that. Now we're going to move on to the liquids. Monty, may you please hold the sign up? Thank you, Monty. Um, and um, their atoms, they can move around unlike um, solids. And um, they, so that means that they aren't joined together, they're separate. And they're not as close together as the object. And they can change their um, shape, but they can't change their size, depending on which container they're in. So, um, for example, these are the examples. Monty, may you please give the examples? Water, vinegar, cooking oil. Thank you, Monty. Now I'm going to move on to my last one. And these here, it's it's gas. Monty, can you please hold the balloon? Thank you. So, um, gas has no definite size or shape, which means it will keep on going until the end of its container. Um, and it's invisible. Um, and the atoms, like the liquid, but not like the solid, they can move around freely. Um, some examples are oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, <laughs> and methane. Pardon you. <laughs> so another example are bubbles, um, and the gas will go inside the bubbles because we're blowing the gas inside the bubbles. Um, carrying on from what we learnt about a second ago, we are going to be experimenting with non-Newtonian fluids. <laughs> the one that we're going to do today is we're going to use oobleck, which is also known as glue. And ketchup is also a non-Newtonian fluid. Um, the name Oobleck comes from a book by Dr. Schuess, who wrote the Cat in the Hat books. Um, we will need for this is water, a jug of water, three cups of corn flour, and if you want to make it coloured, some food colouring. So we're going to start off with by adding the food colouring into the water, won't you? No, not. Oh wow, that's a lot. You're going to have very yellow. I'm going to do a bit of a squirt, but I'm not actually. It's quite yellow. Um, now we are going to pour it in. Can you see mix it? We're going to pour it in. Um, Ubex viscosity, um, how much it flows changes when you apply pressure to it. Right, Monty, I think that's good enough. Right, can you pour that into 
the oh, box. Okay. Ooh. That's going to break yellow, has it? Right. Um, we are going to now add all our corn flour in. Monty, you're going to stir it for me. It puffs up a bit. Um, when we squeeze it, it will turn into a bit of a ball um, and it will come solid. But when we open our hands, hopefully it should all run through. Can I please have a mix now, Monty? Oh, okay. You're going to alien glowy. <laughs> oh, ooh, that, that, that is hard to mix. I tried mm. doing that. Ah, that's because why it is hard to mix is when I'm adding pressure onto it, it turns solid. So I need to. I, I might actually just mix it with my hands. Oh, okay. hell. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, yes, that is. Yeah. So if you. <laughs> that is. Yeah. It's weird. So yeah. if you can see. I'm applying pressure to it and it turns into a ball, but then it's coming, it's going out, look. Ooh, 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 look, it's a ball. Ooh, <laughs> it is disgusting. But I don't think, whoopsie, ours has turned <laughs> really yellow. Um, but it's a bit like alien slime, this. Um... If you're watching, have a go at home. It is super fun to play with. And um, that's all from me today. Bye. <laughs>